better. Yes. Hello, hello, hello. Is it strange being on camera with your clothes on? Yeah, a little bit. Um, yeah, I always feel more uncomfortable when I have clothes on, which is why, you know, I'm a you can take them off if you wish. A match. Thank you. I'm not gonna. No, I appreciate that. I do appreciate that because you know some people like aren't okay with it. But I think the fact that you're so open to the fact that you don't mind me sitting here being completely and utterly naked is actually really gentlemanly of you. So appreciate it. It's the least I can. <laughs> <laughs> do you usually? I was thinking. So I'm still not sure what to call this thing. I'm thinking of calling it like Rory Payne's dates. But, okay. So we're kind of like on a date potentially. Oh my god, okay. But I don't know if that's a good idea or not. Yeah, that's fun. Yeah. Yeah, but, that's so fun. Well, it could work, could work. It's a not. paint date, isn't it? Kind of. And at the well, end... you should be painting as well, right? No. If that's the case. No, it's fine. Um, I don't like painting. I'm not very good at, at art. I can't even draw a stick man. Um, but no, that's good because then you can like woo them at the end and be like, this is the painting that I've Maybe, done with you. But I'm going to be interviewing male guests as well, so I don't know how that's going to come across. Then you just be organic and love them as well. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> and, but like, if, that was, if this was a date, anyway, like, yeah. do you usually invite dates to your house on the first date? Uh, uh, is that a usual thing for you? Okay. I wouldn't recommend it. No, it's I not... really have bad experiences doing that. Yeah, so public places is probably it, for the best. It yeah. would be, yeah, especially no. when you've met them on the internet and you don't 100% know what they're like. Yeah, I've learned my lesson from that, so I probably wouldn't do it. Mm. So this is probably, I haven't learned my lesson because here you are in my house on mm. the first day. How much money do you think I could make if I sold your address details to some of your followers? I'd appreciate it if you didn't. <laughs> But theoretically, However, I could probably make some good money. Right? You probably could. I've mm. had stalkers before, so it would probably have been easier for them to be able to buy the information Easy money. instead of having to stalk me to get it. Uh, but yeah, I don't like the way that you're thinking right now, though. So... <laughs> so... <laughs> so you make a lot of money. I... That's an assumption from you. That I know I how OnlyFans works. No. Money is made. Yeah, if you're good at marketing. I am, however, great at marketing. So, so. then you make lots of money. Well, I make lots of money because I'm good at what I do. I've seen your house. You make lots of money. You yes. Pretty, pretty good stuff. <laughs> yes, I do. But that's because I'm good at what I do. However, if you did OnlyFans and you weren't good at what you do, mm. you wouldn't make any money. So that's not how OnlyFans works. It's how marketing works. Well, so you're a marketeer, not an OnlyFans person. Yeah, you got to fight the stigma. Okay. Yeah, OnlyFans is what makes you money, is it? So you're not rich? I didn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Be, Be hungry. hungry yeah, no, I was good. Like, I had like a juicy bit of steak and mm. chips, so... I was, mm. I was happy, to be fair. Mm. So actually, you're the one that's been robbed. But then yours mm. was Kobe beef and mine was fillet steaks. So. Mm. Chinese or Indian? Oh, Chinese. What's wrong with Indian men? Um, well, they do comment on my post a lot saying how beautiful and delicious I am. So mm. there's nothing wrong with the men. Beautiful and delicious. Yeah. But the food, I'm Chinese all the way. Yeah, that's funny. <laughs> if I had money, money, I probably just, I probably like wouldn't talk. If you had money, you work working on getting money, money, because you have good money. You're trying to get yeah. bigger, right? Oh, yeah. I want, I want like investment money. I right, want like yeah, property yeah. money. Would you talk to your old friends ever again? I probably yeah. I get new friends, fashion I, friends. I yeah. only talk to my my friends, like my actual friends that aren't in sex work. Like I only speak to them. No, like I'm low level assistants, autistic. However, I it's a very debilitating autism. Like autism is debilitating and mine's debilitating, mm. but just in in my own ways. So yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Like cars, like car parking, 
Like, you can't. You can't. Like, that's a female I, trait. That's not an autistic trait. No, I can park the fucking car. Oh, sorry. Yeah. I don't like going to car parks, and I have to like scout the area like way in advance before I go, and I like and everything, because I just, I yeah, the the overwhelmingness just absolutely fucking fuels me to the point where I'm debilitated and I just don't leave the house for ages, like for like weeks on end. So yeah. I was thinking of doing. What, what about like an autism test? What is, Can I, what is this? I don't know. I think that's what the autism assessment is. <laughs> right. Which I do once a year. You do an autism assessment Just once in a case year. I'm, I catch it or something. Oh, of course. Yeah. You've got to be careful with that. Mm. You do. That's Turns out like. I'm becoming less autistic as I get older. I don't know what that means. Like my score this year was better than last year. Okay. Interesting. Maybe you're becoming more self-aware perhaps. Maybe. Have you started therapy maybe? No. No, no, yeah. You People say I should. That. Yeah, yeah. They should. look at my paintings and go, this guy should go to therapy. Should you, there's something in him that needs yes. work. Yeah, yeah I, I appreciate them saying that to you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Saves me the hassle of explaining it. <laughs> autism. This is a bit of autism, maybe. my Because people, my sister always says that I have autism. Your sister says that you have autism. Yeah, because she uh, she tr she taught at an autistic school for kids or whatever. Really? Like so like she says when she reads all the traits, she's like, "This is my brother." Yeah. My brother is autistic. Honestly, like and people. No, that I'm are... just a annoying person. Well, no, it's I not think you're probably I have some, Well, yeah. Maybe. There's traits in you that I'm just like, yeah, you're autistic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, it would be well. I do like trains as well. That's, that's nice. That's an I autistic mean, trait, right? It well, no, it's like. A unique and like um, not common interests, but like you know, I, I guess it's mm. like a, it's not an autism trait. I like painting just... people as cows. Is that like an autistic trait? Do you think? I think you're. Uh... Uh, Erling Haaland, I painted two hundred times. Yeah, I yeah, I don't. Mm. I, I think there's you're... something there. Yeah, I think there is something there for you. Um, don't self-diagnose. Just go straight to the source. Like yeah. go straight to the yeah. That would be beneficial. So what did you say? Like, let's say you didn't do OnlyFans. What would you do? Um, it's a hard one because like... I'm feeling recruitment. What would I do? I don't know why. I don't know why. That seems like a thing. <laughs> I'd probably be quite good at it. I'm not yeah. going to lie. Um, no, probably something to do with marketing still. Um, mm. I wanted to be a dog handler in the army. So mm. maybe I would have gone down that path if I hadn't started OnlyFans. Yeah. If I was to stop doing OnlyFans today because I physically couldn't do it anymore and the sex industry wasn't applicable for me anymore and it wasn't accessible, not applicable, it wasn't accessible, um, then I would just I would go down the marketing route because I'm that's what OnlyFans is. So mm. I would continue doing that just without the sex work. Well, you just got to find something that you enjoy doing that yeah. people like watching. You can sometimes get lucky with it. Sometimes you just have to create. Is that what you do? Create. I, I create content that I like, yeah. Okay. Always. That's why I'm starting to go more into the comedy side of things. Uh. I love comedy. So if people don't necessarily like that, I'm at that stage in my career now where, you know, it's like, mm. I can do whatever I want. Yeah, like if you don't like that, that's fine. But other people will. I'm in control of my destiny. That's nice. <laughs> I like it. Because I was wondering, like, if you're earning money from that, why would you do comedy? Like, just because you want it. Yeah. That's as simple as that. Yeah. Nice. And I just want my personality to be more out there. Like, I just, I am like a You really... think the world needs it? I f I, it's missing something. I'm pretty it's missing sure Taylor's personality. I'm pretty sure it's Taylor Ryan's personality. <laughs> so I'm trying to like I'm trying to cure like my body's things. out there now. Is, here's the rest. Of now it. it's time to show you what's within. Yeah, I'm trying to like heal the world, and I think I'm getting there. <laughs> Were you um, hot or ugly in school? Oh, so ugly. <laughs> I was so ugly. Can you send me pictures of you looking like a foot in school that I can share with Jamie for you? That'll be fun. <laughs> yes, I actually will. I was so ugly. Like, I was never the one that had boys' attention. Like, if we were playing, like, Truth or Dare and someone would be like, um, Alex, I dare you to kiss Taylor. He'd be like, no. Right, that's the end of the game now. Like, we've got to stop. Like, mm -hmm. that's that genuinely happened. That's a true story. Oh, my God. Um, yeah, and just to avoid, like, kissing me on the cheek or whatever. So I was fugly as a child. But I feel like the fugly ones like get the thick Blossom. skin. Yeah. So now that's why you're 
confident in yourself and now beautiful. or something. Yeah. yeah. Oh, right. Yeah. So? <laughs> I mean, it is like, I like the reason why I've got the like darkness around my chin and that at the moment, for anyone that thinks I've got really bad tan, I don't. It's bruising. Like, I did have like lipo on my chin. So a lot, like some of this is um, bought. Um, mm. I'm not going to act like, you know. You're I just, the money. I blossomed into like a beautiful princess. Like, I. What do you mean? Had, What's the chin thing? What's that? What is it? I had the money. Um, There's like, so some people, they're like double chin, like it doesn't matter how much they exercise or how much weight they are, it doesn't really matter. It just doesn't go. Like there's like really stubborn pockets of fat that just don't go. Um, I've had it since I was a kid. And mm. it's just something that I have felt kind of not insecure like about. But yeah, but like I just don't like For some it. Some reason I'm okay with the double chin a little bit. Yeah. I, I don't know what that's all about. No, I, I think it's just because I like I want my side profile to be nicer. Yeah. And I can't get rid of it with exercise. So mm. it's like, oh I can pay for it so yeah. i'll just do that that's fair enough. but yeah that's literally all it was. i was thinking like if i had surgery what would i change about myself and it's not much to know so no she can't afford to that's a lot of money <laughs> that's a lot of i money. can sell a few pains yeah that's a lot of money. Mm. <laughs> sorry not so we talk about the negative stuff of only fans yeah but then girls getting paid you know so like, yeah. i suppose that's a good Good part. Yeah, like it takes like a lot of control back instead of, you know, being on other websites that I just won't even bother to name, like that will um, exploit the fact that they're producing and all the rest of it and they have control over where everything goes. Like, what do you mean fans, like Pornhub and just porn sites? Yeah, like OnlyFans takes that control back for the creator themselves. So yeah, I think, I think OnlyFans is great. Like money making aside, because some people don't make that much, but they make enough to fill their fridge or pay their uh, council tax every month. Like there's people that use it for stuff like that. And I think that's also fucking amazing. So. Yeah. It just so know. happens that it's I don't know where I stand on the subject. It's a different one. Also, I don't like talking about it because it feels like every podcast is talking about it. It's like. Fuck money. No, about, about only fans, <laughs> whether it's like, is it good, is it bad? Is it, is it only fans is fantastic. <laughs> what affect my relationships? Um, yeah. OnlyFans has never really affected my relationships because I will only be with someone that would not have a problem with it anyway. Yeah. And I think that's really important for other people to also do, is to only pick people that won't have a problem with your job, because it's your job. Yeah. So yeah, for me, it's never really affected it other than people expecting me to pay for more or yeah. take them out and all mm. that sort of stuff. But those relationships have never lasted because I just won't deal with that. <laughs> okay, what about, okay, your sex life a little bit. Okay, this is a funny one, yeah. Yeah, potentially. Yeah. But, like, all I can think is whenever you're having an intimate relationship, you might be thinking in the back of your head, I could make money from this. This would be a good scene. <laughs> this would be... This, this, you know, I, I'm like, oh my god, what the hell, we're doing this for free? I'm laughing because there have been times yeah. where I've been like, god, this was so hot. Like, mm. <laughs> I wish I could have recorded this. Mm. I've had that in the back of my mind sometimes, yeah. but it's not affected it where it's like, I've stopped or like, yeah. it's been let me get the camera. Out. Yeah, exactly. Because I know the difference between me filming to make content and me enjoying and having an intimate moment and, and sex. There, mm. there, there are, they are separate, but I have had moments where I'm like, oh, I wish I could record this. <laughs> so that is actually a funny concept. Um, what, what made you um, want to paint the way that you do? Because I'm expecting something- You were still reversing the interview now, yes, is this? Okay. Yeah, a little bit. I'm expecting it to be like, I don't know because you asked me what my favourite animal was, didn't you? Mm -hmm. And you asked me whether I wanted. I don't know. Mm. How is it supposed? I thought you might paint me majestically next to my favourite animal or riding my favourite animal. Because mm. I said elephant or mm. horse, didn't I? Yes. Well, one thing I like to do is I like to combine humans with animals and I like to combine. Uh, cars with people, that that sort of thing. Human, humanizing, I forgot what the word is now. What is it when you humanize animals or humanize objects? So they, I'm combined with the animal. So, yes. So <laughs> you said that you like elephants. Yeah. 
So I combined you with an elephant. Okay. Now, the issue with an elephant. Think of an elephant's face. Yeah, I don't have that. I just, it's not me. As soon as I add a trunk, uh, tusks, tusks yeah. big ears, you look, you would look completely different. I would. So what I've done is I've taken a different approach. Right. Let me just show you first. <laughs> Better. So I painted you as the ass of an elephant. <laughs> okay. Can I frame you can keep can this? I... <laughs> yes. One thing I will say, I made a bit of a mistake with the composition. Can I... So this bit can actually be cut off so it's better for like framing. Because right. at the moment this section is too much. Right. You know? But I think I did well on this side. I like my eyebrows. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. yeah I, I couldn't do the hair because elephants don't have hair on the they, back. And they wouldn't. And yeah. They, yeah, and they wouldn't. Do you think it looks like you? Yeah, yeah. it actually does. Uh, the Striking eyes, eyes you have. Yeah, way. thank you so yes. much. Are they real? They, yeah. It looks like contact lenses. Do thank you. Anyway, That's sorry. actually <laughs> really nice. That's actually really nice. But no, they are real. So, so like the fact that you've... Met, I actually... I don't want to look at it anymore. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't feel comfortable. Yes, yeah, so there's something uncomfortable about it, I suppose. It is. But yeah. that's what you got to do with art. you got to challenge things. You know? I'm challenged. You challenged? I feel challenged. Okay. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of going on. But yeah. like each each of my paintings has like deep and meaningful stuff around it. It feels so, yeah. Know? So you can see here there's clouds, but the elephant, that's you, yeah. is walking towards the, light. the clouded day, the, the light and mice yeah. day, whatever that is. You know? So I'm going from What like, does that mean? It means it's up to you. I, that I'm going to happiness. Potentially. Potentially. Yeah. Well, Unless I'm, this is an edge of a cliff. Which you I also decide. probably would do, yeah. Every painting should be left to the viewer's interpretation. I don't like it when artists talk too much about it, so you can let yourself think what this means. I feel like the... I feel like I'm the cancer to the elephant. You're like a tumour on the ass. I the feel like a tumour. You're, to... you're, you're ass cancer. I'm ass cancer. I feel like I am a, a massive fat fucking tumour on the back of this elephant. And if anything, I'm a hindrance to this. So that's my interpretation. I'm in a hindrance to everything, which is why I need to go to therapy if I think this about myself. <laughs> that's too deep. <laughs> Actually... Look, I still don't know. I just want to be more away from it. Mm -hmm. That's gonna that's that's gonna haunt me tonight. Yeah. Yeah. No sleep, mate. That's not going in the bedroom. I can imagine if it did. <laughs> Above the bed. Ass cancer elephant. Taylor. It can be. It can be in the in the background of your next like sh video shoot or whatever you do. <laughs> I just don't know what to think. Yeah. How. Um, you, I think there's things going on for you. For me? Yeah. Go on. <laughs> Go on. Yeah, I think there's things going on for you. Um, like I've got a problem? Yeah, no, you you definitely have a problem that... I don't know whether it's worth you... Going to therapy. Maybe talking to someone, yeah. Like mm. the fact that you thought like, oh, obviously elephants have trunks, mm. so like... She can't have that. The trunk can't be her nose. Mm -hmm. She has to be the ass, of the, the ass yeah. hole, the ass cancer, yeah. the ass tumor of the elephant. Yeah. So I think there's things that you need to. Uh, it's deep. Dive it's deep. into. It's Freudian. There's a lot going on. But um, but where there's storm, there is a cliff. <laughs> of cla a nice skies. Nice yeah. skies ahead. So when you die, it's actually quite nice, isn't it? There we go. Yeah.